All right, guys, how's it going? Look, it's half past midnight, so I can only apologise for this video being a bit flaky, would be the word. But I have a user here who's got a legitimate question regarding the Pi menu editor video. I was trying to set up something similar to what you had done with the navigation menu. When I right clicked on transform menu in the Pi menu editor, it says I could not add this widget. Now what I will preface is, I'm not the developer and I highly recommend you actually contact the developer because he'll be able to give you the correct answer. Uh, I'm just spitballing here and drinking coffee. Do you know anywhere a noob like me can download and import a scene already? Now, if you go into the Blender forums, there's like 3,000 threads regarding Pi menu editor, so I would assume somebody's uploaded something. But what I'll do is I'll put my setup in a Dropbox link down below, so that'll be in the description as well. I'll try and address some of the questions, but personally, I've not played around with Pi menu editor too much. So let's jump into the preferences, and we'll create a menu from the start. So let's create a Pi menu. And what I'll do is I'll make it work in the 3D view. And I'll sign it to the P key. Now, like I mentioned in the last video, for example, if you want to use something like Transform Tool, if you right click, go to Pi Menu Editor, and you can see it here, Add to Pi Menu. So just for continuity reasons, I'll rename this YouTube video. So next time when I right click, go to Pi Menu Editor, it will say Add to YouTube Video. So when you click here, it'll essentially give you what direction you want the Pi menu to be in. So I'll make this on the right. Now what you can do here is, if you right click, go to Pi menu editor again, you can go into debug mode, and you can also go into interactive panels. So if we jump back into preferences, we can see here, set by tool name. So I'm going to rename this to something like transform, and I'll give it an icon. And we'll just pick anything at random at the moment. So when I hit the P key, hopefully this will work great. Okay, so that's working. So this in theory should pretty much work for everything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to create a keyframe. And I'll do it on location, rotation and scale. And I'll jump into scripting. So because I'm in debug mode, every action that I make is actually being recorded. But what I'm going to do here is... I'm actually going to copy this bit of script, uh, which is bp.ops.animation keyframe. And I'm going to jump back into preferences. And I'm going to manually add a key, so I'm going to call this keyframe. I'll go into edit. I'll edit the item. Now, in the command, if I paste this in, and I'll hit enter, and you'll see that it's actually brought up a few options. So you've got invoke, you've got Execute, you've got Execute Channel Region. There's a few different options here. So you can see here it says Keying Set. So we have a few options here. So I'm going to put it on to what I originally selected, which was Location, Rotation and Scale. That's pretty hard to say at this time of night. And I'm going to change the Invoke to Execute. And I'll hit Apply. And you'll see here that it's actually changed some of the script. So I'll hit OK. I'll jump back into Layout. I'll press P for my shortcut, and it's got keyframe, and it should, in theory, make a keyframe, so let me just move some stuff, just to make sure. Right, so it's setting a keyframe, so that's working as well. So that's one way to grab a command. Now, because we have debug mode on, anything that I do in the UI is essentially recorded, so I can repeat this back and put it into the Pi menu. So one thing we can do in the interactive mode is, see for example if we come into modifiers and you see this PME panel tools. If you click on it, it will say add as a button to your YouTube video menu, add as a popover, add as a panel to the YouTube video. So let's add it to, as a panel to the YouTube video. And let's make it this one. So when we hit P, you can see that we now get a panel. Now what I've done is I'll just quickly assign some random icons and I'll export this out for you. Uh, and I'll put that in a Dropbox link for you. I do apologise mate, I've probably not answered your question. But I recommend you go into Blender Artist, like there's 2,000 threads here just on it. And there's a good chance that you'll find the answer that you're looking for. So, uh, so I basically apologise for talking shit for 5 minutes. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, you know what I do. Peace.